the protests have ended as my previous uh, commentators who are still there with me in the show mr kabir and mr Sam, uh, mr samad said it has now it is about celebration now the protests have turned into celebration what is the road bangladesh is going to take now under a new interim government sir well the celebration is pretty obvious we've been tormented for many many years and people had their backs against the wall i mean you had earlier asked why it was the quota that led to it it wasn't the quota the quota was merely the the fuse that lit the tinderbox i think people had their backs against the wall the injustice for so many years the fact that 30 million youngsters haven't had a chance to vote are all part of this equation um, and of course it could have been very easily handled uh, what would she have to do they they had wanted her to apologize but then tyrants aren't uh, prone to apologizing generally um, and there was no one within the party who had the temerity to be telling her that that was the thing to do um, so it led to this the irony is the sad thing is that so many people died in the process she would have had to leave and she's left but had she left earlier she would have saved a lot of lives that hasn't happened but the celebration today is a little bit like the celebration that i hear had happened in 1975 when mujib was assassinated the people's sweets were being distributed in the streets at that time there is so much made of mujib and it is true that he did lead the war of liberation though he himself didn't participate actively he was in jail uh, but he did set up rookie bahini he did set up bakshal and he he destroyed democracy in Bangladesh. His daughter, I think, has actually done the maximum amount of damage uh, she could have done to his image, what was left of him. Um, so that too. But I would like to bring up something that you've not mentioned, which I think is pertinent. On the footage, you see an ambulance being attacked by the students, uh, by, by the protesters. Now, the protesters have actually been very good. They've not attacked ambulances. They've allowed them through. They've been very responsible. But this particular ambulance was being attacked because it had an Indian flag on it. And India today is the most hated country in Bangladesh. And that is something that needs to be reminded. This, the Indian government has literally propped up this regime for so long. And so much has been given to India in the sense, uh, in, in the effort to keep Hasina in power. Now India needs to do a lot of work to win back. It has... It certainly had Hasina in, it, in its pocket, but it lost the Bangladeshi people. And now it has to do a lot of work to win it back. I, 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 think, I, think, uh, I, think that's a, I think that's a strong statement. Do you agree, Aditya? You know, we have to agree. There are friends, uh, you know, in democracy, in diplomacy. And then, you know, governments don't stay forever. Uh, in this case, however, there was a lot of anger for years together. Uh, on Sheikh Hasina, you might say that she believed to an extent in democracy and secularism, uh, but there were grave corruption charges against her. Her dictatorial approach was targeted and attacked several times democratically. And otherwise, there were, of course, a lot of radicals also uh, who were vehemently against her. And, you know, India has been a very close strategic partner. Now, these protesters certainly, unfortunately, cannot, uh, you know, differentiate between a strategic partner and somebody who is deliberately trying to help. We were not deliberately trying to prop up uh, this kind of regime, but yes, we had a strategic uh, partnership with Sheikh Hasina. And unfortunately, that phase has completely ended now. And now, whoever will be in power, uh, you know, will have to strive for a better relation for India, as would New Delhi will have to have a better ties because we are the closest neighbors. And, you know, we have been 911 call for several countries around uh, in South Asia including Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Afghanistan and Pakistan. So, uh, as of now, we'll have to wait and watch how things unfold. But unfortunately, uh, you know, if history looks at Sheikh Hasina, uh, you know, many would say that she has completely, I agree with the previous speaker, destroyed the legacy 